Hello everybody, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm coming at you with a little review and swatches of a heavily underrated product, in my opinion, that I am crazy about and have been for a long time now, and that is the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Lip and cheek tints. They have six beautiful shades. They're going to run you $26. I know, like a lot of 100% pure products, these are expensive, but you do get a decent amount of products in here. They are highly functional, easy to use, and I like the dual purpose that you can get out of this product as well. I um, think it's a really good item for like a five minute face or anybody on the go. And the texture of these is just like one of the best on the market in my opinion. So first up, um, I'll just show you guys the packaging really quick. It's really, really easy and convenient. All of the colors of the packaging correspond with the different shades in the line. And again, there are six. All of these do also have a base of cocoa and shea butter. So they do have that, of course, moisturizing property. But while being moisturizing, I don't find that they're overly dewy. So if you have maybe a more combination skin, you can still wear these. And then again, on the lips, they have like a good semi matte with like some cushion to them. So that's really nice too. Anyway, the packaging just looks a little something like this. They're just in these little plastic jars that have a cool little floral embossing. Then you open them up and they all twist off. And the thing is quite wide so that you're not getting a much depth in product. It's really wide and I have yet to make a significant dent in my most used shade. So before I get into the color swatches, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about application, wear time, things like that. One of my most favorite things about this product is how easy it is to apply. So what I like to do personally is I'll just take the cap off, I'll twist it up a little bit, and I will just rub my finger in the top, whether it be my middle finger, my ring finger, if you want to do less pressure. And then I just dab it onto the cheeks and just start stamping it sort of in a circular motion, just to make it nice and even. I, th I love these because they don't really cling to dry patches at all, and they're also not really hard to blend or overly pigmented. However, if putting your finger in it is not enough pigmentation for you, you could go straight in, but I think that makes more of like a stripe. You're depositing a lot more product. I would rather build it up on my finger than go straight in with too much, personally. And to apply it to the lips, I do the exact same thing. So the finish on the cheeks is really just skin-like, satin-like. It doesn't have a strong shine like a lot of cream blushes do. I think the Keir Weiss ones give off a really beautiful luminosity, which I think is very pretty, but it's a different sort of look. And I think um, you get a little bit more wear time out of these. Um, on the lips, the same thing. They're more like semi- matte finish. It looks matte, I guess, like in terms of how it appears, but on the mouth it does sort of have a cushion to it that allows you to move like your lips back and forth. And I just like to dab this on my on my lips too, and that I'm wearing the shade um, Shimmery Cocoa Berry. Really, really love this shade. Had it for a while. And as far as scent goes, they just have a really nice fruity scent. It reminds me of like their mascara, the way the mascara smells, but not quite as intense if you guys are familiar with that. So these are really easy to use. And like I said, wear time, this is not all day. Cream products are not all day. I really don't care who you are. It has to be one heck of a product, especially in the natural community. However, I do probably get a good five to six hours of wear, I would say, out of this after an eight-hour workday. I only notice just a tiny little bit maybe on the apples. However, my, my favorite thing about the packaging is that it is so easy to apply and really easy to take with you on the go, and it is functional for both cheeks and lips, which is beautiful. Moving along, let's get right into the swatches. Instead of putting out my face, because I don't I think this is I like this more as a blush than as a lip tint but you can use it for both so that's really nice I was gonna swatch one on the back of my hand for color and then if you guys want a video on maybe like how to apply cream blush that could be a separate video so getting right into the shades there are six the first one I have here is peach glow and this color is beautiful it's really quite vibrant very uplifting to the face I don't think anyone over a medium complexion can get away with this shade it is one of the more sheer ones, but it's beautiful. This one, I think more than Coco Berry, has that sort of luminosity cream blush finish to it, but it's such a perky color. I think it would tie in really nicely on both the cheeks and the lips. Moving along to the shade I have on today, and my personal favorite, I think it sounds the scariest, but it really is very wearable. This is the shade Shimmery Coco Berry, and you think, oh my god, this is gonna be brown. 
it's not it's actually just a more brown toned peach so it actually is a pretty true peach shade i love this because i think it looks like you just got back from vacation i think it's a really wearable nude that i have on my mouth today i think it's a little too blank on my comple complexion to wear without a lip liner so i do have a lip liner on today but this is my favorite healthy youthful looking shade and again many skin tones can get away with that one then if you're more of a pink girl we do have the shade shimmery strawberry and this is just a nice more cool toned pinky shade no it's more warm actually more warm pinky shade but it just has that sort of barbie look to it really really pretty again very uplifting sort of product and i think it would tie nicely on both the cheeks and the lips then if you're still a pink girl, you just want it to be a little bit deeper. This is where we start kicking it up a notch in the way of different colors. This is the shade Sugar Plum. And Sugar Plum is beautiful. It almost has a little bit more berry to it. So if you have a dark complexion, I think this is going to be the one that you gravitate towards. It's absolutely stunning. And these blend so easily so you don't need to fear these sort of deeper colors. Then another sort of pinky shade, but this one is like neon this is like a pink and a half this is the shade pink grapefruit glow so this is a lot more cool toned than um what is that one called strawberry than the strawberry one i just mentioned a lot more cool toned and a lot more vibrant so again if you have a deep skin tone that might be one to go for it has almost a more lilac base if you think that's like uh, a little bit more uh flattering on your skin tone then reach for that one and then wrapping it up with the darkest in the bunch and this one's probably my favorite to sort of throw on the lips it's such a nice color this is the shade cranberry glow and it's just a pretty true cranberry shade it's not quite as deep and berry as like you would think like cranberry like more fall this is a more punchy sort of brightening fuchsia shade but it's gorgeous and again even though it gives you that sort of this gives you that very rosy sort of dull flush really gorgeous and this one you just need the tiniest little amount so that is it you guys it's all six shades i think though they all have a similar vein there's enough difference to each and every one of them again my favorite is the cocoa berry one i think it's gorgeous it would be really great on a medium skin i think as well and quickly before i go like i said these are not all day blushes i've never met a cream blush that lasts on my face all day blush is always the first thing to go i wanted to give you guys a little tip that you could put on a corresponding powder blush shade on top of your cream blush and that will really lock it in and that applies to bronzer cream highlighter cream blush cream eyeshadow everything if you lay a powder on top it's like a cream that's being set with the powder and you can really really lock it into place so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the 100 percent pure fruit pigmented lip and cheek tints i absolutely love them and I said that a little unsure. Lip and cheek tints. I'm going to say it loud and proud. These are amazing. $26. Everything you need to know is going to be in the description box down below. Ingredients and a photo of all these swatched so you can see which one would be the absolute best for you. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Check out our social media down there and give the video a like and subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you in my next video. Bye.